All right, guys, today we're going to talk about tuning the NT carburetor. Now, this is actually a very simple process. There are only a handful of things that you can tune on this carburetor, and we'll start with a very basic one. This right here on the side is called the idle speed adjuster. You can see right there, it uses a flathead screwdriver. Some may be different, but all it does is turn that screw in, and by it turning the screw in, it uses a wedge action uh, right here. You can see it. And all it does is forces the slide up a little higher, which makes the speed of the uh, engine go up at idle. That's all it does. Uh, these engines uh, need to be idle a little bit higher because there's no true idle circuit on this carburetor. So it makes it a little bit easier for it to idle at a higher speed. Uh, so but just understand that turning that knob is not going to do anything for you if you're having problems with it running uh, except, except for when you return to an idle and it, doesn't, it just wants to die off because the speed's too low. Now the second way of tuning it is, I've already removed the slide, which I assume you know how to do that, is by tuning the needle length. So the needle has a couple little slots on there. It's kind of hard to focus on it right now. We'll see if I can get my hand on there. And most people find that the second notch on this uh, little E-clip there, you can see why it's called the E-clip now, uh, is the best place for it to go but you might find differently. Uh, now understand that this needle being tapered uh, modifies the diameter of the inside of this little tube which it fits inside of, which is right here, it's a little brass tube there. So as you pull it out with a slide, uh, the taper goes a little bit more narrow and it exposes more of that bore inside of here, uh, inside there actually. And then as it goes in further, uh, to slow down, uh, it covers up more of the bore, if you will. Uh, the other way of tuning this engine uh, is by tuning the main jet right there. On the bottom of this thing, you pull off the uh, pull off the bowl, pull off the float, and there's the main jet right there. You're looking at it. It's a flathead screwdriver or screw to pull the main jet. I've already loosened it up, so it's just this little piece right here, not the entire emulsion tube, but just the main jet right there. That's it. So once this guy's out of there, you can solder it, you can drill it, and I'll do a video for that later. Uh, understand a couple things though. Uh, the idle speed will not adjust any fuel mixture whatsoever. The moving the needle will only adjust the mixture up to three quarters throttle. And adjusting the uh, main jet will actually, let's see if we can get this thing to focus again. Adjusting the main jet will actually uh, change the mixture throughout the entire band uh, idle all the way up to wide open throttle on this engine so which is why you have the needle adjustment to bring it back down in the lower RPM and lower throttle ranges so you open the main jet up a little bit more if you need to but you need to lean it out a little more with the, with the, the needle and that's about it I'll go into more detail about the tuning of the main jet in a later video thanks for watching